Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to uh, show you around our Mercedes-Benz GLC. It's just a bit special. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a bit more about it. It's a four litre GLC 63 V8 bi-turbo AMG S Premium. It's a 2018 on a 68 plate. Has done 27,679 miles. Fuel economy, as if you care when you uh, listen to the engine, is combined 22.5 miles per gallon. Top speed is 174 miles an hour out of a 503 brake horsepower, 32 valve, eight cylinder engine. Now I don't really know where to start with this. It's, uh, it's kind of out of our normal league. Um, we've got the Mercedes-Benz LED intelligent headlamps there. The all important AMG badge in the grill there. You've got front parking sensors. It's also got collision warning. If you get too close to the car in front, a red triangle comes on the dash. You've got the wing protectors here in plastic. And then the matte black and diamond cut five spoke alloys. The red AMG calipers there. Massive disc to, to pull you up from 174 miles an hour. You, you'll need it. Um, V8 by turbo badge there, power folding door mirrors, de-chromed, it's got the black window surrounds, the matte black roof bars, panoramic glass, electric tilt and slide roof, aluminium side steps, it's also got the uh, keyless lock and uh, keyless entry, it's keyless go as well, there's a, a little button but I, I, I'll show you, I'd take the button out and then you've got somewhere to put your key, uh, rear privacy glass, it protects around the rear wing as well and then these kind of micro mud flaps, integrated tailgate spoiler, I'm just looking for the re reverse camera actually, see where it is, but in, anyway we've got uh, power open, power closed tailgate, got the load cover here, there's a button there which I believe uh, puts the back end down for, for loading, make it easier for your dog to get in. And then we've got the little uh, flip down buttons for the back seats there. They're really handy too. It's, it's like brand new, this car. Still got the blue cellophane over the uh, aluminium trims there. And the exhaust tips are in matte black as well. And they've also, they're all stamped with AMG. So ni nice finish, uh, attention to detail there from Mercedes-Benz. So power close. As you can see there, the, when the seat flips forward, it makes a virtually flat load area. Just put it back up like so. Nice and comfortable bags of room, like brand new in the back here. The driver and passenger seats are, are quite high backed, uh, so it does make all the difference with the glass panoramic roof. Makes it a lot lighter and area in the back. Seats are really comfortable. I always say <laughs> it don't look like they've been sat on. Uh, in fact, to be honest, I'm amazed that they, they make four-seater vehicles these days. But anyway, it's kind of perforated leather. Um, with these silver flashes in it, silver seat belts and uh, rear cent central armrest, little flat there and that's padded in there so uh, a, lot, a lot of cars it, they're just plastic and you put your phone in there it slides all over the place so that's, that's nice and then we've got cup holders in the back here as well like so. Lovely finish, uh, I think the it looks like Bummeister, but I think it's Burmeister speakers, and that's uh, brushed aluminium as well. It's uh, it's the car's absolutely beautiful. I just set you for a ride in it, which I'm really looking forward to. Looking forward to this. Uh, the Mercedes-Benz key there. You uh, actually, I'll just start it. If you just see there, there's a there's a little button which you can take out and just use the key, which which is definitely what I would do. 
I certainly won't leave a, a keyless go button in there. And uh, right, well, the, the the first thing and, and the most important thing, we'll just put the back windows down. I can't put the front windows down because I've got my cameras on. But the little button here, now, um, somebody who just got a, his new Porsche with the the, ex, the tuned exhaust and the button for the tuned exhaust, uh, got home, showing his girlfriend around the car, and the young lady said, well, what does the sunglasses button do? And to be honest, the button in the Porsche looks more like a, a pair of sunglasses than it does have an exhaust, so, you know, the girl's a keeper. This one looks like a pair of goggles, but it makes all the difference. You press the goggles, or the AMG shape exhaust, and the car. I, I, could, listen, I, I could listen to that all day to say the difference. You knock it off. It still sounds pretty good, but uh, we'll, we'll have that button on for the, uh, for the drive. So electric memory seats, and again, usually uh, let's just let's just try position one. All right, position two. Ow, my knees. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't <laughs> my knees are touching the dashboard. I, if this one goes any closer, it's going to break my kneecap. So that my my theory that, that the uh, the smallest people drive the biggest cars, and and that's uh, I'm not being derogatory. It's it just that's just to show how easy it is to drive anyway, and you can find a comfy position. And a, and a place where you can you can see in a four-wheel drive you can see the front end and you see the back end dead easy to park you've also got if i just stick it in reverse there you've got the rear view camera and i think it's also got yeah it's got the display up in the headline in there that you can't see and um, there's usually one in the front but i can't see one in here whether whether there is one here somewhere i don't know but um anyway you, you don't really need it so that's the reversing camera as well and you can also swap the view that's the the goal post there or the rugby post and they change show you where you're going to go what you're going to hit if you keep going in heading in that direction at the bottom here if you just turn it along you can select just a different all-round view and i when i was looking before i couldn't see where the uh i couldn't see where the reversing camera was but uh, so they've made a real good job of hiding it. And the other thing I noticed is wherever they've put it, this morning was very, very icy. And sometimes you, you get in and it's, it's like obviously iced over or, or steamed over and you can't see. And this, it was just, it was perfect. So that, that's a good design. Right, let's get into a, let's just put that back like so and get going. Nice front centre armrest. That's, uh, that feels like Alcantara there, and leather, the AMG, uh, three-spoke steering wheel. You've got your cruise control there, and this uh, thing that I'm not too fond of, the steering column mounted gear selector. We'll just put that, if you knock the kind of the iDrive or the selector forward onto Navi, put it on Navi and it's uh, there's so many controls in this car what what you can do and how you can set it up for instance you can have uh, there you can change to manual or drive you can use the paddle shift the shock absorbers here you can change or the, the steering really because it, it changes the whole thing that's uh, ride control they call it so we're in comfort ride control there sport and sport plus now what did I see before 
Um, now where is that? Because you can also control when you when you set it up like so you can see the engine in comfort, sport, suspension, and then if you press this, there you go. You've got the sport plug plus exhaust. Where is it? Oh, it's here. So there, right? You can set it up as individual. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put it into sport. Well, actually, I'll put it into race. There's race there. I'm not going to do anything stupid. It's just so you can hear. Oh. So we're working off the paddle shift here. It's also telling me that uh, it's uh, traffic um, sign recognition. Good job I didn't go too fast. It looks like uh, police officer is here. Don't know what he's doing? But anyway, I mean it, it's so smooth, fairly quiet. You can just hear the burble of the exhaust at the back. Got this lovely panoramic roof. Nice, nice finish in the cockpit with the contrast stitching and this. Uh, I think that's Alcantara too. So leather and Alcantara insets. Oh, it's also. Oh dear. This this is heaven. It's also got the the downshift blipper. Right, I'll I'll just take my foot off the accelerator, and if you listen, and if hopefully you can see from there, my foot's off the accelerator now. So when it changes down naturally, or I can do it from here, I suppose. There you go. There, it's just blipping up, matching the revs. But it, it sounds like absolute heaven. Um, I'm going to put it back into... It's, it's not really my style, sports handling mode and stuff. Especially in one of these. I'm, I'm going to put it back into comfort. Uh, but uh, unfortunately that switches on the stop start which we chap have any sony there at the traffic lights messing about with his phone oh, it's This is just lovely to drive. This is a horrible corner. And I'm not, obviously I'm not going fast, but it just tucks in. Play in the centre there, click it on Navi, tell me the direction of travel, nothing set on the sat nav, We've got Bluetooth hands free, Bluetooth audio streaming, as well as your three position memory seats here, we've got heated seat, power folding door mirrors, It, uh, it sounds like a low pass in a Spitfire. <laughs> Front central armrest with room there. You've got this 
Um, it's kind of a mouse stroke You can you can you can change by scrolling along the top. It's a, a, kind of a touchpad, or this circular, and you can feel the click. So you don't have to look at it to see where it's going. You know how many across you want to go, uh, and then uh, just click to select. the The audio system's fantastic. Let's get the cruise on. Well, that's speed limiter, knock speed limiter off, and then cruise control. Let's get it up to 70. We're on 70 there. Got a funny. So that's cruise control 70. Hopefully, we're in top. Just make sure. In, I think we're in ninth gear. And we're doing 1500 revs. <laughs> and bearing in mind, it will accelerate or we'll go another 104 miles faster than we're doing now, legally. Um, you, you probably need race mode there and the, the shockers like hunkering down. Car's lovely. Radio telephone control, Bluetooth hands-free, say Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, let's just see if we can I, I can't play anything for too long due to copyright issues, but I think I am within my rights just to play a record quickly to uh, demonstrate the audio system in this. Vehicle. So let's see. We'll click, we'll get the menu up. Then we'll go to media, click media, no Bluetooth, connect last, connect device, we'll go to connect device, and then various iPhone. So this old heart of mine's on. The, the sound is awesome. Burst your eardrums. Actually, I could have just done with. We'll just put it in Sp Sport Plus going around here. Or race, we'll put it in. Yeah. I mean, this is, listen that. Now I'm gonna change it out. If you enjoy driving, this is an absolutely, well, if you enjoy driving and you live out in the sticks or something, and you need a four wheel drive, then this is an awesome vehicle. I think if you, if you just like getting from A to B, then this wouldn't be the choice of car, but. I could, uh, I could listen to that engine note. Oh, hang on. Windows down, put it in park. Give it another. No. Oh. Now we're uh, unfortunately we're, we're behind a concrete mixer, so we'll. We'll let that guy go. 
there's, there's many a time I've been behind one of them and when it's been splashing around con concrete, uh, easy for me to say, concrete splashing out the back. And we don't want any on here. So as I say, I will show you how to set your sat nav, how to uh, pay your mobile. Oh, there's Let's get going. We're in sport here. Crap blowing off the back of their uh, pickup. That's just lovely. Let's get it back into comfort. We'll, we'll leave that exhaust sound on. So I'll, uh, I'll finish the test drive there, beautiful car, um, inside and out, great specification, I don't think I can even begin fancy coming across two cyclists at the precise, <laughs> crossing at the precise same time. remember to take a photograph of the sunglasses switch and, and once you've seen it you can't unsee it it will always be the sunglasses switch um, right next videos what have we got coming up? We've still got two more Range Rovers to to video. Um, what else? What else? What else? The Q5 Soul, the, the same day as the video came out the other day. Um, I think we've got a couple of vans. And uh, that, that's about it at the moment. We, we are very, very busy still touch wood it will uh, keep going that way if you uh, if you're going to be looking for a car in the future perhaps just give us an email and if we get one in we'll let you know we, we're not big enough to go out and buy loads of cars or just two of us so um, but we we will try and uh, try and find a car and um, that's it thanks for watching <laughs>